My role as the chair of the Institute of Global Health Innovation and I also co-direct the Hamlin Centre with Professor Guang Zongyang uh, and this is a new multidisciplinary initiative and the MRES course is very much part, uh, one of the outputs of the centre which we're very proud of. The advances in medical technology have changed the whole face of medicine, let alone what I do uh, and what happens in surgery. I mean, examples in my lifetime of changing the face of surgery from maximally invasive to minimally invasive was transformational uh, from a patient's perspective. You know, discharge within 24, 48 hours, getting back to work quicker, less complications. All of these things have had a huge impact in the way I practice surgery as we speak. I'm Dan Elson. I'm a full-time academic here in the Hamlin Centre. I have a joint appointment with the Department of Surgery and Cancer um, and I'm the director of the MRES. We expect that our students will come from a range of different undergraduate degree programmes, from the physical sciences, the life sciences, engineering and medicine. We provide them with um, a series of core modules to introduce them to this highly interdisciplinary research area. So those five core course modules include medical imaging, medical robotics, image guided intervention, minimally invasive surgery and neuroergonomics and perception. They should then have the um, required knowledge to complete the eight-month research project. The course is structured into two main components. The first component takes place during Term 1. That includes the five core lecture modules. It also includes a group research project where we hope that the students will learn a new research skill. In the second and third term and during the summer, there is an extended um, individual research project where the students can go in depth into uh, a particular research challenge that they choose. Besides these activities, there are a range of um, professional development workshops and seminars. So this course is very unique at Imperial and also, I believe, worldwide. You are working in a very interdisciplinary environment. The course is fully embedded in a clinical environment. We have, for instance, that uh, a whole range of facilities to offer the students in terms of developing technologies, but more importantly, we have the environment and also expertise for working with the students to translate the technology to real patient care. I, I chose this course because I came from a um, computing background and I always wanted to, to learn new stuff, especially uh, new, new subjects, especially related to the medicine. I really enjoyed the research aspect of my previous degree and I wanted to continue to do research. The Hamlin Centre offers an environment where our research has direct clinical applications, which is what I was really interested in. The best thing about the MRS course is that we have the opportunity to work in state-of-the-art laboratories with uh, first-class research groups as the Hamley Center. What I find really interesting is that here at the Hamley Center they have facilities to carry on a clinical um, trial after doing research. The most interesting thing I've learned in this course is, um, is the augmented reality which is introduced in image guided intervention module. So augmented reality can provide virtual visual information for surgeon. So it is a typical application of computer vision in medical field.
The best thing about the course so far has probably been having lectures by some top surgeons, including Professor Darcy and other specialists in their field. When I graduate, I've got so many options. I've been offered a PhD, I might go and work in the field of science, but who knows, I may end up doing something in business. Once I finish uh, my MRS and proceed with my research, um, I intend to stay in Imperial because it's one of the world-renowned centre of research. This is, um, the, the advances we do, the technology we do develop here is, is unique.